I'm James Van Garner. Welcome to my workspace, and thank you for your support of Inside for Indies. Uh, let's take a little tour here across the, the working space. Uh, here's a pile of bills being negotiated presently. Here is the work, work table where, uh, full of binders and tablets. A project usually starts on a tablet, and if it's really lucky, makes its way up to a binder. The map of the locale of my uh, mystery series with a clown detective in it, so I can tell where things have happened in previous books. Uh, also, how long it takes to get from the strip clubs on Griebling Street down to the clown bar in Clown Alley, and if you can do that without going by the sideshow. These are very important things to keep straight. Um, I often put up pictures of old movie stars when I'm creating a story, so I can build characters by looking at their wonderful old craggy faces. This is my large box of popcorn, because just like Batman, I need large props in my Batcave. A poster of Iggy Pop, my favorite artist from my hometown of Detroit. Shamrocks, because just like Daniel Steele, I need beauty and greenery around me when I create. I've got a fax machine. If you need to fax, call me. I think they're coming back. Detective novels, true crime books, circus memorabilia, and my cheap, my cheap paperback uh, bookshelf with titles such as Curtains for the Editor. I know every writer out there can appreciate the title of this book. Whew. I'm worn out. I know you are. That was a long walk. I'd like to read to you a passage from a writer I like very much who is not a literary writer, more of a humorist, more of a stylist, uh, Damon Runyon, who was a big writer in Manhattan in magazines in the 30s and 40s. His stories provided the basis for the musical Guys and Dolls. So they are filled with uh, gangsters, gamblers, uh, malls, dolls, and all that type of person. Uh, this is a little passage I'd like to read to you called The Snatching of Bookie Bob. Now it comes on the spring of 1931, after a long, hard winter, and times are very tough indeed, what with the stock market going all to pieces, and banks busting right and left, and the law getting very nasty about this and that, and one thing and another, and many citizens of this town are compelled to do the best they can. So I am not surprised to hear rumors that the snatching of certain parties is going on in spots, because while snatching is by no means a high-class business, and is even considered somewhat illegal, it is something to tide over the hard times. Furthermore, I am not surprised to hear that this snatching is being done by a character by the name of Harry the Horse, who comes from Brooklyn, and who is a character who does not care much what sort of business he is in, and who is mobbed up with other characters from Brooklyn, such as Spanish John, and little Isidore, who do not care what sort of business they are in either. In fact, Harry the Horse and Spanish John and little Isidore are very hard characters in every respect, and there is considerable indignation expressed around and about when they move over from Brooklyn into Manhattan and start snatching, because the citizens of Manhattan feel that if, if there is any snatching to be done in their territory, they are entitled to do it themselves. But Harry the Horse and Spanish John and Little Isidore pay no attention whatever to local sentiment and go on the snatch on a pretty fair scale. And by and by, I am hearing rumors of some very nice scores. These scores are not extra large scores, to be sure, but they are scores that are enough to keep the wolf from the door. And in fact, from three different doors. Now, many citizens have the wrong idea entirely about the snatching business. Many citizens think that all there is to snatching is to round up the party who is to be snatched and then just snatch him, putting him away somewhere until his family or friends dig up enough scratch to pay whatever price the snatchers are asking. Very few citizens understand that the snatching business must be well organized and very systematic. In the first place, if you are going to do any snatching, you cannot snatch just anybody. You must know who you are snatching, because naturally it is no good snatching someone who does not have the scratch to settle with. 
and you cannot tell by the way a party looks or how he lives in town if he has any scratch, because many a party who is around in automobiles and wearing good clothes and chucking quite a swell is nothing but the phonus balonus and does not have any real scratch, whatever. So that's a passage from Damon Runyon. I hope you pick up a book of his and enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you for listening, and thank you for supporting Inside for Indies. I hope you can contribute to the cause and support independent bookstores nationwide. The details are on the following slides. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.